The Chicago mayor recently reported that black people in Chicago are dying at a rate seven times that of white people. And I wanted to share some of the reasons why I think this is happening. My name is Mubaraka Ibrahim. I'm a health and happiness coach. Uh, you can probably read my bio wherever you're seeing this video on one of my profiles. But the thing, a couple of things I wanted to point out that's not in my bio is that I have had the privy of um, being a co-chair of the Yale New Haven Hospital um, Women's Committee Patient and Family Services, which put me in rooms with doctors and in conferences talking about um, healthcare and disparities. And it has been a really eye-opening experience I've served on national health care and, and um, patient service boards, specifically looking at diverse, um, diversity inside of health care and health disparities. And so the lens that I bring you um, is from both of those, in addition to uh, being a health and wellness coach for over 20 years. One of the things that I wanted to point out is, one, when coronavirus first broke out, there were memes about how black people could not get it. And that may have led to black people not taking it as serious as we should have at in the very beginning. But I don't think it is the coronavirus itself that is playing the underlying is the underlining reason why black people are dying. The coronavirus is just, it's just the rain that came that made it the perfect storm. The health disparities that exist among black and white people in America it supersedes <laughs> anything coronavirus has brought. Um, we know that the coronavirus is more deadly to people who, as we say, vulnerable population. And those populations are people that already have existing diseases. In America, black people suffer from all preventable diseases and those specific diseases that the coronavirus really takes hold to than white people. So we know in particular that almost 40% of the black adult population is obese. And we may have not taken that really seriously late, um, in the past, saying, oh, black people are big boned, oh, black people are naturally curvy, blah, 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 blah. But the truth is, yes, the entire nation is getting obese, but the black population in particular is more obese than the white population. Obesity is an underlining condition that if you do get the coronavirus, your virus is more likely to result in death, more likely to be severe because this is a pre-existing condition. People that have diabetes. Diabetes among the black community is significantly higher than diabetes among the white community. 24% versus 15%. This, again, is an underlining condition that can exacerbate coronavirus. When we talk about high blood pressure, Black people are more likely to have high blood pressure. Again, when I read um, that the first, the first uh, round of um, autopsies in China showed that 70% of the people who died had high blood pressure, that actually sent chills down my spine because I know how prevalent high blood pressure is in the United States, particularly among the black community. Now, these are all the things that exist before we even get to the hospital. So the second problem for African Americans in America is the health disparities that exist in the healthcare system. Black people are more likely to suffer discrimination when we get to the hospital, symptoms are um, seen by healthcare providers as not being as severe as their white counterparts. They've done many studies of these with bringing in two people who have the exact same health history that presents the exact same symptoms, one person being black and one person being white, and the white person is more likely to be 
prescribed painkillers and if they're given painkillers are more likely to be given uh, um, higher doses or um, more potent painkillers. It has worked against the white community um, in the opioid crisis, right? So that's why the opioid crisis is ravaging the white community right now. And this is part of the reason. When black people do go to the doctor, we tend to go to the doctor when our illness is more severe because of the mistrust of the medical system and the historic injustice of the medical system for black people. The Tuskegee experiment is just the most popular one, but we have a whole list of things that has happened that continues to happen um, when it comes to black healthcare. So already having pre-existing conditions, going to the doctor later, when the condition is more severe. When you get to the doctor, more likely that the doctor will not think your symptoms are as severe as you are describing them, right? More likely to send you home and saying, hey, you don't need intensive care. So when you do have to be transported to the hospital, now you're critical care. All of these things make a perfect storm. And we can talk about you know, the economics of it and poverty and how all of that and the racism and how all of that fits in. But you want to make sure that we don't leave out all of these things, right? It's a perfect storm. It's not just one thing. It's a perfect storm all coming together. It's really important, like, what do we, to, for us to think about what do we do now, right? So what do we do now? Obviously, we're not going to solve health disparities before um, the coronavirus is done. Well, now is the time for African Americans to really make definitive steps to improve in their health. If you have diabetes, keep it under control. If you have high blood pressure, take your medicine. Don't wait until, hey, I'm going to wait until the gyms open back up in order for me to start exercising. Start now. I'm going to wait until, you know, I can go and hire a trainer or hire a dietitian and nutritionist um, before I try to lose weight. Start now. Everybody is offering their services online, right? So make sure that you are starting now to improve your health to maintain your health, to keep your immune system strong, it's gonna be absolutely essential. So that if you do catch the virus, you can come out the other side with your health intact. All right, so stay healthy, stay home, and stay safe.